So in our previous class, uh, we saw the uh, structure of the select clause, and then uh, we saw how to select data from uh, entire table, single table, all data from a single table. And then uh, certain columns, we saw how to select data from uh, certain columns and then uh, order them by yeah. order. And uh, using uh, column alias, <clears throat> when you are doing a calculation or when you are generating a new column, uh, how we can uh, give a name for that column we saw. And uh, Microsoft uh, uh, version of that, uh, a column ID is also we saw an equal sign we saw and uh, we introduced uh, the where close wait for a while that okay we introduced a uh, where close and uh, we saw how we can uh, uh, Combine uh, data from uh, more than one column. Uh, in our case, we saw how to create uh, the column using a uh, uh, display column using a uh, uh, concatenation operator that is plus sign. And then we saw how we can uh, display an asterisk uh, using that uh, double apostrophes. Then we saw how we can use this uh, distinct keyword uh, to eliminate uh, duplicate values or displaying unique values from uh, uh, certain columns. <clears throat> and then we saw how we can use top close, uh, top keyword to uh, display uh, top uh, number of uh, rows or top uh, percentage, 5%, 10% of uh, top rows we saw, right? And with ties also we saw. <coughs> in uh, today's class, we will see how we can use a uh, where close in depth using uh, using what we call uh, comparison operators using comparison operators how we can uh, use uh, this where close we will see purpose uh, let me open my uh, window and uh, let me switch up my video <coughs> so uh, you can uh, use a uh, comparison operators like uh, uh, equal sign, equal sign, greater than sign, less than sign. Uh, please switch off, uh, mute your mics. So uh, greater than or equal to or less than or equal to and uh, not equal. These are comparison operators, right? Comparison operators. Using these operators, we can uh, do some comparisons in the where clause. Okay, where clause. So uh, this is for uh, whether a value is equal. Or not. This is uh, greater than or this is a less than this is greater than or equal to less than or equal to and not equal to okay so uh, the syntax of uh, our select statement is select from where and uh, order by okay so we are now here where close in a where clause, we can uh, use a comparison operator to compare two expressions that results in uh, the like data type, same data type, right? So if you are using, uh, if you want to compare uh, a numeric value, you have to have a the numeric data type on both sides, right? If the comparison results in a true value, the comparison, uh, the results of the comparison is true, a particular row will be uh, added. Say, for example, we have a table here. We have a table and uh, we have columns. And uh, when you do some comparison, for example, say for example, uh, <clears throat> in our vendors table, we have a column called vendor state, vendor 
state. Okay, we do a comparison when the state equal uh, CA. If it is like that, the program will check for the first row. We here we have a state column. Let's say this is state column. This column is state column, and uh, the program will check whether the first row has a CA. If it is CA, this becomes true. This row will be added in the result set. Okay, this row will be added in the result set. Then second column, second row is tested. If there is another value, this will be false. No, so this row will be skipped. And then next row is visited. If there is CA, this row will be added in the result set. And like that it goes. So whenever the results equals to true, automatically this uh, the same uh, row will be <coughs> excuse me included in the result set so similar to that uh, greater than like that say for example uh, invoices table has invoice total invoice total as one column right invoice total if we want to save uh, display uh, invoice total uh, all the records where invoice total is greater than 1000 in this case, we mentioned like this. So, uh, it will be tested similar to that. If the value is uh, more than 1000, this row will be added. If it is less than 1000, not added. Again, it will be tested. Each row will be tested and the result set will be uh, gathered here. After that, order by close will be applied. After this, where close is tested, where is finishing, the order by close will be uh, applied and then the data set, the result set will be arranged in the descending order or ascending order of the column that you mentioned, whether it was. So these are the uh, comparison operators that uh, we have. Okay, let's see some examples. I'm audible, right? Yes, sir. Fine. Let's see some examples in uh, management studio. I have an open management studio. <clears throat> I'm creating new query. And I'm selecting accounts payable that is our sample database. First, we will uh, display all uh, records from our vendors table. Yeah, vendors in a sense, supplies table from vendors. <coughs> I'm pressing F5. Now all the uh, records in the vendors table is uh, displayed. Okay. Here you see all the records are displayed, 122 rows. So here we have a vendor state column. When the state column we have, it has some values. So let's uh, organize it, arrange it, order by when the state. Run this. Now it is arranged. So when the state A, Z, A, Z, C, A, it goes. And then uh, C, T, D, C, and uh, I, like that, it goes up to W, I, right? So if you want to display a particular vendors, suppliers from, it's like a province, okay? Eastern province like that, EP, W, SP, like that, okay? So uh, if you want to display uh, vendors from a particular province, particular state, we can have this where clause, where vendor state equals AZ. So first three will be listed, AZ, okay? If you want to have it from CA, you can have CA, okay? Only CA will be displayed. If you want to display it from WI, only WI is displayed, okay? That's how it works. This is for a string value. <clears throat> for the, in the case of uh, numeric values, it is string data type, text data type, or date data type. We have to enclose it with, within a single course. Give me one second. Huh? Give me one minute. Okay, let's resume. 
So if it is a numeric value or date, numeric value, we will uh, enclose it in uh, single quotes. If it is date value, we will enclose it in a uh, single quote. We will see an example for that as well. Here we have vendor ID, it is a numeric value. So what we can do is, select all from vendors where vendor ID equal 100. So here we are listing the value for the vendor 100. So we don't have to display all of them. We can have uh, some column names as well. Okay. No need to have all. If you want to display a set particular columns, you can have. So vendor name, vendor city, vendor state, default terms ID. Okay. For select, you can have the selected columns as well. Or uh, 35, 35 is display. We can have vendor ID. <coughs> See here. So also we can have text type. Say for example, uh, select or from before text, we will see another one less than operator from vendors where vendor ID less than 50. In this case, vendor ID up to 49 is displayed. Okay, is displayed. Let's have a equal sign. Vendor ID 50 is there. It's there, okay? So uh, there will be a difference here. You can notice a difference here. So here I want to have uh, less than 50. So if it is less than 50, up to 49. Equal 50, 50 comes. Now we will say greater than 50. Greater than 50 comes. <coughs> Here, greater than, less than or equal to 50. So 50 is also included, right? 50 is also included. Greater than or equal to 50. Okay, 50 and more than 50 is included. Not equal to 50. All are displayed except 50, 49 and 51. 50, 50 is missing because not equal to 50. So this is how it works with numbers. Now we will see select all from vendors, vendors where, where vendor name or vendor state it less than m so <coughs> let's see here we have vendor state starting from a c and f m like that it goes so less than m means before m okay before m So here, when the state and order by when the state. <coughs> so here we have up to K and uh, there's no M, okay? And uh, fine. And paste. Now I'm going to say greater than M. 
okay greater than m let's run this here you see here you see m is also included m is also included okay that's the difference huh? if it is less than m is not included if it is greater than m is also included but in the case of uh, numbers it is not like that if you have uh, less than 50 50 is not included okay 50 is not included okay less than m m is not included here m is not included but uh, greater than 50 50 is not included but in the case of uh, text value greater than m when the state greater than m m is also included we have to note it huh? you have to be uh, careful about this if it is a text value the uh, greater than sign includes the starting value as well right for uh, greater than not less than okay that is a uh, uh, worth noticing okay any any doubts any doubts <clears throat> please ask any questions any doubts I am audible, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now we will uh, move to these uh, vendor uh, invoices table. Select all from invoices. Invoices. Okay. So here we have some columns invoice ID, vendor ID, invoice number, invoice date, invoice total, payment total. So uh, here also we can play with this where clause. Select all from invoices. Order by invoice total. So now we will uh, have this invoice total six dollar, and it uh, moves up to thirty seven thousand nine hundred sixty six point one nine dollars. Okay. So we will have where clause where invoice total greater than 10,000 10, run this so uh, only those above 10,000 is displayed here you see six rows six rows are displayed okay actually there are 114 rows here you see 114 rows but uh, when you apply these uh, where clause you have only six rows and we can have the same like uh, less than 10,000 you have 108 rows so six plus 108 114 rows that is uh, uh, the total <coughs> number of rows available <coughs> also we have a uh, invoice uh, due date payment date and invoice date columns so if you want to work with date columns, uh, let's uh, paste this. Order by invoice dates, okay? Invoice dates, let's run. So the first date is uh, 2019, October 8. 2019, October 8. And the uh, last date is 2020, February second okay february second 2020 so if you have to uh, display data uh, up to 2019 31st december what we can have is where invoice dates uh, greater than no, not greater than, less than or equal to. The format is, by the way, format is YYYYMM B 
DD. Okay. So year, month, year, month, date. Okay. Year, month, date or MM, DD, YY. <coughs> okay. This is the format. Let's try 2019, 12, 31st. Okay. Here we have uh, October 8th. And here we have uh, December 28th. Right. So again, we can copy and paste this. Yeah. Greater than or equal to. Greater than or equal to. 2020 one one so we will try this format huh? mm mm dd by by month date year month date and year why is that So from uh, 1st of January, 2022, the balance, okay? <clears throat> this is how it works. Any, any doubts with this? <coughs> so if it is date value or uh, text value, we enclose it in single quotes. If it is numeric value, we don't enclose it in uh, single quotes. Any questions? No, sir. Fine. So next uh, we will uh, see. The uh, logical operators and or and not. These are called uh, logical operators. You can uh, use uh, these operators to have more than one set of comparisons. So actually we have here we have done one comparison. Okay one comparison you can have uh, more than one set of uh, comparisons say for example in the case of uh, uh, vendor id so we can uh, ask the program to display vendors uh, vendor id uh, less than 100 also they must be from a particular state okay it's like that uh, students from Ampara district and female students, okay? Uh, students uh, from MIT and female boys students, okay, male students, like that, more than one condition. So if you have more than one condition, you can use these uh, logical operators in place. So logical operators are there, there are three logical operators. One is and, this is or, also you can negate it by using not. Can have not as well it is a negation of it the reverse of it so if you use end operator both conditions must be uh, uh, fulfilling as uh, true both condition both condition must be met if you use end operator if you use or operator either condition can be true you can have a search condition first true or a search condition second true or both of them can be true <coughs> at least one should be true or condition not means the reverse of it okay the reverse reverse of it so let's see uh, some examples okay so uh, selects all from vendors on this Let's say order by vendor states. Here we have. So Azan is set. Uh, we will get receive more per one minute. Huh? Let's resume. Uh, 
let's have these uh, select all from vendors where order by vendor state. Okay. Let's uh, display records from the vendor state C A California. Okay, vendor where vendor state equals C A. Okay. Now we have uh, 20, 75 rows, seventy five records uh, of uh, C A California states. Okay. Now we uh, will uh, order this by vendor name. Vendor name and see uh, the vendors. Here it is starting from AB office uh, furnishings, up it goes uh, Zilka design, okay? And we want to display, one condition is vendor state equal CA, and I want to see the records above F or E or something, right? Above F, name F. So in that instance, end, <coughs> excuse me, end by the name, greater than f okay <coughs> excuse, excuse me greater than f so after this f f is inclusive for uh, greater than symbol starting point will be inclusive for text values so f included and up to z it goes there are 47 records if you want to see uh, less than f up to e A to E, okay. Here we have AB office furnishings up to XP data incorporations, right? So this is using end operator, okay? End operator. Let's uh, see uh, from uh, invoices table. Select all from invoices, okay? Invoices order by invoice. Invoice total. Here we have uh, invoice total order by one condition we have. Let's have invoice total where invoice total greater than 5000. So we have uh, invoice total above 5000. This is one condition. And uh, let's uh, see the invoice dates. You can have invoice dates. Two columns we are organizing, ordering it. So it is starting from December 18th to uh, invoice date. We will uh, remove this. We will have only this invoice date. <clears throat> November 21st up to uh, January 31st of uh, 2020. So we will uh, have up to uh, 31st December 2019. Okay. So one condition is uh, invoice total must be uh, greater than 5000 and the invoice date and invoice date up to means less than or equal to mmddyy 12 31st 2019 12 31st 2019 so uh, 2020 should not be included 2020 should not be included here you see we have used uh, two conditions one is a uh, Invoice total must be greater than 5,000 and invoice date up to 31st December 2019. Okay, two conditions. <coughs> this is how we use uh, end operators, right? End operators, end operator. You can also use a uh, O operator. Okay, let's go back to our uh, vendors example. Select all from vendors. We are displaying them all, and one condition uh, order by vendor city. Okay, vendor city. 
So here it is starting as when density as uh, okay. And uh, what I would like to have is I would like to display uh, people from uh, Eastern province or people from Kalambu district. Okay, Kalambu district. So here let's call uh, this city as district. Okay, and uh, state as East uh, provinces. So Eastern province one and Kalambu district another or Kalambu district. People have uh, the student. I would I want to see the students from Eastern province or Kalambu district, or otherwise Eastern province and Western province, two provinces. Okay, either province, anyone. Oh, right. <coughs> so here we have where when the state equals CA one. Okay, one province or when the state equals ma two provinces okay two provinces so here order by when the states you have ca also you have ma okay or when the state equals WI. We have a WI as well, last one. Okay, WI. So you can list like this. Any of them, if it is CA, it is included. If it is MA, it is included. It is if it is WI, it is included. But if you use end, you will not receive any data because a single uh, <coughs> vendor cannot be from all these three provinces okay you will not get any right because that is not possible okay that's how uh, this o operator works so if you run this you have uh, 79 uh, records 79 for so all together we have 122 122 minus 79. So 49 records are from other districts. So here we have 79. All records 122. So if you want to negate this, if you want to negate this, not from any of this. <coughs> not okay, not from any of this. Here we have 43. This is the 43. Here also you have 43 balance of it. So if you want to negate them, not. Okay, not. If you want to negate this, not. Like this. Okay, not. Others are coming. The reverse of it. Okay. Any questions? Any doubts, please ask. Any doubts? <coughs> Excuse me. So next is a uh, in operator. If you want to give a list of values, if you want to give a list of values, we use in operator. Okay. Say for instance, we are listing uh, three uh, three uh, states here. Okay, three states here. You can use this in operator to list an array of values. If you want to list an array of values, you can use a uh, in operator, right? Say for example. Select, select all vendors, right? All from vendors, all are listed. And order by, order by vendor 
render ID. Okay. Here we have. So if you want to select uh, more uses like uh, where vendor ID equal uh, five or <coughs> vendor ID equal 20 or vendor ID equal 15 or like that, the, you have to have more values, right? So in that instance, what we can do is we can use these uh, this in operator where vendor ID in in two comma five comma six comma twelve comma twenty five uh, twenty six uh, fifty eighty eight hundred like that we can list the values. Okay, you see here. <coughs> they are displayed. If it is matching, if it, it has matching values, they are displayed here. We use in operator, capital in and small in. That's the, they do the same job. Okay, there's no difference. It's a, to give a list of values. Okay, to give a list of values. Same. Same here. I would like to show you where. When the state in comma comma goes like this. Same job. Okay. Same job. You can list uh, as many as you need. Like this, you can have. Okay, all of them are listed. That is the uh, use of in operator. Okay, in operator. So you can use an in operator using a subquery as well, using a subquery. Subquery means a query inside another query. Okay, subquery. Subquery. Okay, so it is a query inside a, a query, a query, query inside another query. Okay, that is subquery. Say, for example, <clears throat> you want to, you want to, please uh, listen, watch carefully. Yeah? You want here we have a uh, select all from vendors okay this is one table select all from from invoices this is another table right so i want to have okay i want to have the the uh, vendor ids where where invoice total greater than 5,000, okay? Here we have some vendor IDs. What are the vendor IDs? What are the vendor IDs? Can you read the vendor IDs? 22. Yeah, 72, 99, 104, and 100. Yeah, these are repeated, okay? These are repeated, okay? Now, I want to see the names of these people. I want to see the names of these people. They are in vendors table, not here, invoices table. <coughs> we will see this in our next chapter also, we will see, but this is different, okay? So, here I have 72, 99, 104, and 110. So what I can do is where vendor ID in 72, 99, 104, 110. Okay. These are the four people. Okay. But the problem is, 
I don't, I have to run this first and then read the uh, numbers and manually I have to type it here. Okay, I have to type it here. So what I can do instead, I can have a subquery. I can have a subquery. This, okay, this inside here. Okay, this query inside here. Let's run this now and see what happens. Select friend ID from invoices. Select distinct. No need to order. Select when ready from invoices. Very nice. Okay, fine. Fine. You see here the same, the same results come. The same results of this. You see here, they are identical. Four records, four records. What I did here, I had to type here. So if I want to find uh, above 5,000, less than 5,000 now, these are less than 5,000. I have to type them manually. Okay. If it is this case, I have to type all of them manually. But if I run a subquery, easily I can do this. Right? That is the use of in operator. When you uh, practice this using different examples, you can identify. Okay. <coughs> Not only invoice total you can have for uh, you can have for a particular uh, invoice date, okay? Invoice date, invoice total, different different uh, things you can try. Okay, this is the use of uh, in operator. Okay, the other one. This is another one. So here today we have seen. Uh, we have seen uh, in operator and uh, the uh, logical operators and then using where close with uh, a comparison operators okay any doubts from this <clears throat> any doubts any questions please ask Sir, yeah. Can you explain subquery in operator? Subquery, we have a separate uh, separate chapter. For subquery, we have a separate chapter. For the time being, subquery is a query within another query, right? It is like nested if, okay, nested if in your programming subject we say nested if. So nested if means if inside another if, okay. So here we are dealing with a different table. Here we are dealing with uh, invoices table. Okay. Here we are dealing with vendors table. So vendors table is a separate table. Invoices table is separate table. If you want to connect both tables, we have to use something that is called join. Okay. Join statements. So join is a, another chapter. Next chapter is join. Uh, we will learn joins. So rather than using joins, what I have done is this. In using this in keyword and subqueries I have retrieved. So using this subquery, what I am doing here is I am selecting the vendor IDs from invoices of those vendors for whom we are we have purchased more than five thousand worth items. We have purchased items worth more than five thousand. So we can select vendor ID only. 
in the invoices table there is no uh, vendor name you see here if i type all there is no vendor name vendor name and other things are available in vendor vendors table so in the invoice table only vendor id is there that is the foreign key so primary key vendor id from vendors table is used as a foreign key here so if you want to retrieve data from both table you need to join it joining is the, another chapter we will learn in depth uh, in the in the next chapter so for the per, for the uh, purview of this chapter we can use subquery i'm introducing subquery subquery is another separate chapter we have just to explain you this in operator in operator i am using the subquery here so when you run this code when you run this code vendor id vendor id it is showing a list of ids right this list of id we have to manually type inside our query if you are using this in operator uh, manually rather than typing this if you know these numbers vendor id earlier you can type but in the real world you don't know the numbers if you have 1 million records how can how can you find numbers so what you have to do is use this subquery to generate the numbers and send them inside these brackets that's why we use subquery okay subquery we have a separate chapter on subquery don't worry any doubts <clears throat>